today we're going to be talking about Oslo.io. Oslo.io is a video editing and collaboration tool that you can use if you're a content creator, YouTuber, or video editor. Thank you Oslo for sponsoring this video. Let's get right to the tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do is create an account with Oslo. So you just want to go to Oslo.io. That's the website. Um, create an account and then we'll go ahead and get started. Once you log in, you will see a screen similar to this. I believe it does start you off with a demo project. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and start creating a brand new project from scratch, which is what I recommend you do. So let's go ahead and click create our first project here. I'm going to give it a name. We'll just name it test. Um, and then we're going to leave all of this on. This means anybody that is in this project that we invite will receive actual email notifications um, when we do each of these things, whether there's a new comment, new member, um, or file status changes. But we'll talk more about that later. So let's go ahead and create this project right here. Um, so once you go to a screen like this, you're going to have a few different things here. So first is going to say create your first video. You can add a video to start, um, but you're going to have video editing up here on the left. Then below that, you're going to have supporting assets. This is where all of your files are going to show up and be saved. So this is super important. Um, then you're going to have exported videos, which is for your finished videos. And then below exported videos are going to have collaboration. This is where you will see file requests and review links. And you also have a chat um, within this project, which we named test. Um, so this is all only for this single project that we've created. So keep that in mind. To get started making our first video, we're going to go to supporting assets like the plus and add our first video. So for this example, I'm gonna be using some Apex Legends gameplay that I just saved a little while ago. So it's gonna take a minute just to upload here. So I'll come back in just a minute when it's ready and I'll show you how to do the rest. While this video is uploading, I just wanna show you a couple of things here on the top right. Um, first of all is the search bar. So um, whenever you upload many, many files, like say you're doing a bigger project than we're gonna be doing here and you have you know many different footage um, options, different B-rolls and stuff, and hopefully they're labeled, you can actually just search your files right here um, and make it easy to find them if you have a lot on here. Uh, super useful. Um, but then beside that, you're going to have a plus beside your profile picture. Um, this is to invite uh, team members to your project. So uh, if you're a creator like me, you might want to invite a video editor or you might want to invite a friend to help review your videos, um, which more on that later. Um, this is how you invite to a project. Then other than that, you're just going to have your settings here where you can go to your settings, change your name, uh, and all of that stuff. All right. So now that our video is uploaded, I'm going to be able to show you some of the really cool things you can do with Oslo. Um, so here under supporting assets, you're going to be able to see all the files you've uploaded. So we're dealing with about a two minute clip of Apex here. So let me go ahead and show you um, how you can click this and the options you're going to have right off the bat just by uploading a file. So like I showed you, you can invite people to uh, your team, essentially, whether it's your video editor or friends, family, um, anybody you want to share or collaborate with um, on your content. So here you can see we can watch the video. I'm going to lower the volume here so it's not so loud. Um, but as you can see, we got our gameplay here. It looks great. You can play it, pause it, see the time. Um, but on the right, more importantly, you'll notice that um, there's a comments section. So you can actually leave feedback here um, by the exact time, which you can put in manually here, um, or you can adjust it on the slider and wherever you pause it at, um, it'll be right there if you check that. Um, so you can actually leave feedback um, at exact points in the video. So that's good, especially if you're a video editor or you're looking for any feedback on your video, or if you just wanna take some personal notes on your video um, so that you can go back and make sure you edit those out or just make any type of note you really want. You can also click uh, beside comments to view the metadata um, to see which of your team members uploaded the video, when they uploaded it, um, the file name and some other details about it. You're also gonna have a few more options up top, such as publish to YouTube, um, change the status to needs review in progress, ready to publish or no status, um, as well as an invite and a download button um, and a couple more here, pretty much the same thing if you wanna rename or delete it um, by clicking those three dots there. Another thing uh, to add on to the comments is actually a toggle annotations right here on the bottom right. So you can click that and actually like circle things on the video um, at certain points um which is just really useful if you're you know collaborating on a video um trying to explain things to your video editor if your video editor is trying to explain things to you um, a lot of uses that can have so just make sure you're aware of that as well once you've uploaded your supporting assets we're going to go ahead and start editing the video so you want to go ahead up to video editing uh click create new i'm going to create the file name of video test 
um click create give it a second and then on the left here you will see your media um you can either drag a new file from your computer here or you can go ahead and add one to the timeline that you've already uploaded to your supporting assets like we're gonna do so just click the plus there it'll put it in just like that um, and then what we're going to do next is come up to settings, which is just above media on the left. I'm going to run you through briefly all of these in just a second, but first I want to cover these settings. So initially when you click settings, it's just going to say landscape, portrait, or square and background color. So you can easily, you know, change this to portrait if you wanted to squish it down, uh, into a 16 by nine aspect ratio for TikTok or YouTube, um, as well as make it square, things like that. But we're going to leave it on landscape for now. Um, but another thing you want to make sure you do under the settings tab is once you have settings up you want to actually come down here to the timeline and click the video um, this will allow you to have a lot of different options with that specific uh, video asset on the track so uh, things such as animations to fade in and out the speed of the video as well as the track volume which I'm actually gonna go ahead and drag down right now um, so that when we do edit the video it's not super loud for you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on like 10% um, but you can also do audio effects and some other things that we'll mess around with here in a little bit but I want to make sure you know how you can use that then if you want some more advanced options you can also go over to adjust um, and you actually have a lot more options here such as adjusting the color correction um, as well as the size position zoom rotation all of that type of more technical stuff right there if you do need it which is super useful and great to have so just to cover the other things here on the left side um, menu you're going to have under media sounds they have a lot of great sound effects here you can use uh, which you can sort by category um, from alerts intermissions intros and transitions um, these are actually all very quality uh, sound effects and audios that you can use so definitely take advantage of that um, otherwise we have transitions which are some really good creative transitions you can use mix and match to create you know a more creative and immersive video um, as well as then we have text pretty standard uh, they do have quite a few fonts here that can really fit any style so if you need a thin font or a thick font um, a modern font or an older retro font they pretty much have you covered here with a lot of built-in fonts that are easy to use uh, moving on from that we have filters so they just have a few basic filters here if you don't want to mess with the manual color correction you can just throw on some black and white uh, filter right here super easily or any of these other ones if you like uh, and then below that you're gonna have comments again so this will work just like the ones I showed you earlier where uh, yourself or team members that you've invited to the project can actually uh, leave feedback at certain exact points in time so that's also available in within the video editor now I'm going to show you how you can edit a video with this uh, very easily quickly and pretty professionally as well because um, they do have a lot of options you can easily use here and it's pretty simple to use and quick to learn which is really nice so uh, we're gonna go ahead and start by just showing you a couple basic things and then I'm gonna do a time-lapse of me actually editing this video a little bit just a two-minute clip of apex um, but one cool thing you can do right off the bat is if you want to click the video on the timeline uh, go down to go to settings and go to animations you can actually click fade in um, which I really like and then now it'll start black and then slowly fade in so if we could play now it just slowly fades in from black it just looks really nice um, there's a lot of ways you can use that as well as all of these other effects um, such as zoom as well if you want to add a zoom which will slowly zoom in the video which we don't really need for this context but there's just so many options you can play around with here and they're just so easy to use because you just click it and it does the effect um, so I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that but now I'm going to go ahead and do a simple edit of this video and then I'll come back to you and show you everything I've done and we'll see the finished product So I just finished uh, editing this video. I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you. It's a nice, simple, quick edit um, that anybody can do. I edited this video down to 45 seconds. Um, I just did a few cuts and stuff, which I'm just gonna go ahead and play it and show you what I did as it plays. So I added one of the audio tracks that's an intro track they have on here called Unite. I think it sounded pretty cool with the text and the fade in from black in the beginning. Um, just to add a little uh, immersion to the beginning of the video. Um, and yeah, and then here in a second, I'll do a transition. I just added the swirl transition. They have a lot that you can pick from though. Um, here's a slide down here, there's a swirl. Little transition here just for a second. Shows me eliminating that guy. 
um, and then another swirl back up top finishing that knock um, and then to end the video I come over here and finish off that guy slide out back in um, and then notice the video or the yeah the video fades out to black red as the music's fading out uh, nice clean simple edit um, keep in mind you can do all of this while still collaborating and adding comments to videos as well um, and you can get a lot more advanced with this with the more advanced settings and just spending more time on it um, you can really do a lot with this and it's really just awesome now that our video is done i clicked the big export button that was on the top right and while it's exporting i just want to show you a couple other things if we go back to this page um, under the collaboration on the left uh, we're going to go ahead and i'm going to show you what file requests are so um, if you have a if you are a video editor and you need some more footage from your creator that you're editing for um, you can add a new request here and request certain files from people um, whether they have an also account or not so that's really nice all right guys so now our video that we edited is exported so if you go to export videos you're gonna be able to see it right here so we're gonna go ahead and double click it here uh, not full screen it it's not what I meant to do um, so now we're gonna go ahead and change the status to ready to publish um, so that's the video ready to go um, and you're gonna have the same options as earlier when we were reviewing uh, just the files uh, the supporting assets you're gonna be able to download it publish it directly to YouTube um, and invite people to collaborate so that when you have the finished video you can invite them right to it uh, and again they can leave comments they can mark it up um, and all that kind of stuff. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys understand how Oslo works and how it can benefit content creators and or video editors um, and anybody that just wants to collaborate and edit, edit videos all in one place. It's a really great tool for that and I think it's only gonna get better and better from here. Um, but thank you again, Oslo, for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.